there. This is Cheryl from California and today we are going to go over lesson 14 of the University of Success. Now it came to my um, realization yesterday after I did um, my video that you couldn't really see my jacket but I was so tired I just didn't want to redo it. So this is the dream team. And this is our little logo. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, so, so for lesson 14, um, August picked the same author that he picked for lesson 8, which is um, Dr. Ma Maxwell Maltz and his book, Creative Living for Today. Now, the quote for today is, your life need not be a succession of 24-hour vacuums, nor must you live in an emotional dungeon any longer. So, um, Dr. Maxwell Maltz was a plastic surgeon, and the reason he got into um, looking at um, um, writing books was because he found that some of the people who he would perform plastic surgery on, that some of them would get, you know, have, you know, astonishing results, but, and they would be happy, but some people, even though they had astonishing results, were not happy. So it was mostly the self-image that they were looking at. Now, um, in this chapter, he goes on to say that a person's thoughts, his images, are, mighty, are mightier than guns. And then um, he gives a particular story about this man, um, a tall black man came into his office when he first started to be um, in practice, and he was complaining about his lip protruding and how his girlfriend you know, didn't want to be seen in public with him. So the doctor was able to do the surgery. And um, when he did the surgery, um, afterwards, the, his girlfriend was like, well, how much did you pay for that? So uh, the, they had, the doctor had at, at first told them that it was a $12,000 job, but he only said that to discourage him from getting the, to getting the, um, the surgery. But he actually um, charged him less, but then he told him, he said, when you, when you, the, your girlfriend asks you how much, you know, the surgery costs, make sure that you tell her that it was um, $12,000. So he had the surgery and everything, so his girlfriend didn't like it when she particularly asked him how much it cost. She said, you could, you know, you could spend that money on me, why'd you go and do that? So then she supposedly cursed him. So, you know, he sat around in his, you know, his house for like four days, and then um, after that, you know, his landlord bought in a doctor, which was really not a doctor, but someone who came in and kind of reinforced what his um, girlfriend said about the curse, and his doctor put their hand in his mouth where, you know, um, the doctor did a surgery on the inside and said, you have an African bug. And this African bug, you know, and so he said, you, you know, it's going to kill you, it's going to eat you up. and. Um, you know, surprisingly, the man came back to um, Dr. Maltz, and he was like, you know, this African bug is, is killing me. So the doctor was able to look into his mouth, and he took out a piece of scar tissue, no bigger than a, a, a grain of rice, and said, it's not an African bug, it's just scar tissue. And the man's, you know, whole um, demeanor, everything changed, and he went out, and then later on he was able to marry his, his uh, childhood sweetheart instead of this other lady who was not accepting of him, and actually had a very fulfilling life. Now, he also talks about some other things as far as... Um, that uh, that kind of um, gets us to think as far as you know our failure mechanism. So he outlined a failure mechanism as um, uh, a frustration, aggressiveness, insecurity, loneliness, uncertainty, resentment, and emptiness. And you know, I'm not going to go into all those and, you know, what he said about those. The most important thing is, as far as for you to, um, to overcome those is to think of a success that you've had in the past. And you want to fill your mind with it and just concentrate on it and really feel the feeling that you had when you had that success. And then, 
keep that picture in your mind. So that will, if you if you looked at your success and you kept that picture in your mind all the time and, and really relived it, then that would help you to get over that failure mechanism or that, you know, failure, the, the, those um, seven things that were outlined as the acronyms of failure. So that was the conclusion of Lesson 14 for Augmentino's University of Success. Join me tomorrow for Lesson 15. So I hope you're having a great day and join the dream team. All right. Just uh, click on the link below and uh, I'll see you on the inside. Take care. Bye-bye.